so these guys are going to actually be causing some trouble for us. Well, that's stupid. I mean, did did somebody put them up to this? Is, is this just them uh, wanting revenge or I, uh, knowing this game is probably Gary. I mean, come on. You know, he went and tried to like set things up before. I don't know, but the thing is that we haven't even seen Gary since what chapter three or maybe it was just chapter two i don't remember seeing him during chapter three. Oh wait no no he was in chapter three yeah i specifically remember johnny telling gary to shut up but uh, whatever doesn't matter we'll deal with gary eventually because i do want to measure revenge but these jackasses I have no idea what's up with them. I mean, this just doesn't even make any sense. This is how you're going to get back at people. You know, what are you trying to like make us face off against each other and uh, be at each other's throats and then uh, swoop in? Okay, I guess, but the thing is, is I don't get it. It's like, I suppose there's like a little bit of a time skip here uh, because, well, we're close to the summer. I mean, then again, it was spring, so, you know, we had football season, but maybe there isn't that much of a time skip, but Jimmy seems to be pretty dang complacent about uh, his role as quote unquote king of the school. So I guess that would actually, uh, that kind of lax nature would explain why everybody else uh, feels like he's not doing anything, which is unfortunate, but I've actually earned my spot. Let me see. Cause I'm, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to pass out here. So I kind of want to, uh, hurry up and get, uh, get to where I need to be. Cause I'm pretty sure if I pass out, mission fail. And then I have to do that whole thing over again. And I don't want to. So. Mash X, pedal as fast as you can. All right, but just about hit man. I would hate it if I hit that man because then that would be a whole other can of worms. So let's wrap this up, shall we? Stupid preppies. Well, Hopper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of ungrateful little... Uh, whatever. You knew that coming into this, uh, having that gone through chapter done. two. But still, man... Really? That You're not even going gay, to look at the photos? You're just going to... And then my respect with them went up. Even though, you know, there's not really any respect anymore. Um, context? I guess it's like minor respect because I went and tried to do something for them. But that's the thing. Everybody's completely complacent. They're really expecting me to solve all their problems when, to be honest, they were doing just fine without me before this. So why now? I didn't say that I was a school problem solver.
I mean, yeah, I did solve the problem of all the bullying and tried to make everybody fair and even, you know, and just peaceful, but uh, this is the one problem that I have with this chapter because you're not really getting a whole lot of context with it. People just suddenly hate Jimmy for not cleaning up after them when they have their own responsibilities. They'll see the principal. What? Why? Uh, well, we ain't gonna go see the principal just yet. We got some things that we're going to go take care of. Like, class. So, and I forgot that my bike is up there on the pier like an idiot. Dang it! Just, can I get up there, please? Let's ride. I don't know. I just want to get my troubles and just you know, go to class and get stuff done. You know? Oh, man. It actually looks like a really nice day. Oh! Oh, my God. That was, exciting. That was a backbreaker, man. It's just, how is he able to get up? How is he able to walk after that? How is he able to... Uh, I do like the... A jump on that though. Art four. Okay. Yeah, we definitely want that. Uh, I mean, you can kind of already guess what the reward for that one will be. But uh, yeah, I still want it. So let's go get it. Oh, finally, I could take that bike inside the building. It would be a brief amount of fun, but I would still enjoy it. Uh, art class. Enemies, enemy patterns change. They move sporadically. They're all over the place, moving faster. Help your fellow no, dawdle, get to class. Really? I don't want to get to class. I want to save right quick because I know art class can be a pain in the butt on these uh, on these levels, and I don't want to have to go through all that crap. So we're just going to save, and if I fail, then I'll reload. 59.4, oh man, wow. Well, we are near end game here. Story does, uh, story does take up a pretty decent amount, but it's all that side stuff, collectibles, side quests, favors, you know, all Shall that. Shall we get started then? And please, no talking. But I want to talk about my work while I'm doing it. Well, maybe that's allowed, but whatever. Let's go and get this done. Now, I can't see a dang thing right now. All right, well, I know I'm gonna edit that too so it's more visible. So we're just gonna try and work quickly. Try and do like small squares because you don't wanna go big. You wanna try and work with as little surface area as possible. I mean, you can take some risk, but yeah. You're putting yourself at risk to get wrecked. So, just uh, take advantage of that freeze. I would like the timer so I can see you, but that's all right. I'll just close you off in here. Ooh, okay, that's not good. Seriously? And then you can't, like, come back in off of the spots where you are, but that's all right. We'll just speed up. Uh, okay, just close this. And damn it, seriously? Uh, that was Looks on like me. You're having difficulties today. Don't worry. Uh, okay. That's all right. So let's try that again, shall we? Jerks. Ooh, that was cutting close. I said small. I mean, they're going to keep spawning in, but look how fast some of these things are going. Uh, yeah, it's better not to make a long straight line. Besides, it kind of simulates uh, brush strokes anyway. Yeah, I kind of walked right into that one, didn't I? Get off my line. See, that's why you don't want to do those long straight lines, especially not in the layer levels when they move faster. So let's hit this freeze and we can just go straight up while this freeze is going. Oh, I was hoping that that would did it. 
Uh, I have to do at least one more stroke in order to make this work. Well, there's a speed boost right here, so let's take it and zip. And come on, come on, come on. It's about to, ah, I can't cut through. I have to go all the way back. And that's where the challenge is. That's where they screw you. Dang, I could have easily did that. Okay, that's one. Is that clear, but, ah. What's the matter, Jimmy? Is your mind elsewhere? That's it. Third time's a charm, baby. Come on. I know I've Shelby done edits and put and edits in no and talking. stuff, but this actually was the third take here. Uh, because after this, uh, -uh I ain't doing this crap no more. Not this time, anyway. No, just uh. Everything else is hard except, say, English, and um. I mean, yeah, chemistry seems like it would be a bit of a challenge, but it's not. Uh, but, you know, gym class and, um, yeah, just English and gym class are like the ones that just aren't that hard. This one, this one is just tricky because of how the mechanics work in the first place. And you can't just sit on the edge. No, you have to, uh, you have to take it. Uh, you have to deal with it and move accordingly. So there you go. Finally. So I'll let you take in that wonderful Very portrait. Pleasing work, Jimmy. Yeah, I totally drew that. I, I totally painted that. Well, I guess it would be better than actually being able to do like free form. So now I'll get 100% health bonus. Never any doubt. What? So what would class five be? You'll see, hopefully. Meanwhile, let's go see the principal. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. Oh, man. Are you serious? That's harsh, dude. But Jimmy did kind of dig himself into a hole. I wouldn't be surprised if the faction leaders were kind of responsible for that. Getting them all complacent and everything, but whatever. You've been expelled. I like you. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I hope you're insured. Uh, so, now I can't... Well, I can wear the uniform, but I can't attend any classes. Come on, you're tough, right? But, busting in part one. We have another mission, at least. So, we'll see about getting that started in the next part. I'll see you guys later.